Swift has a few ways of writing loops, but the underlying mechanism is the same. Write some code repeatedly until a condition evaluates as false. The most common loop in Swift is a for loop. It'll loop over arrays and ranges, and each time the loop goes around, it will pull out one item and assign to a constant. For example, here's a range of numbers. Let count equals one through 10. We can use a for loop to print each item like this. For number in count, print number is number, then end the loop. Plus we can do the same with arrays. We could say, let albums equals red, 1989, reputation. Then loop over that, for album in albums, print album is on Apple Music, then end the loop. If you don't use the constant that for loops give you, you should use an underscore instead, so Swift doesn't create needless values. For example, you could say, print players gonna, then for underscore in one through five, print play and end the loop.